retro gamers and Tarper here from retrogamescollector.com and retrogear.co.uk um, with a short um, pickups and Christmas competition. It's a Christmas special. You wouldn't know it because I haven't got my hat on this year. I'm doing it on the cheap. So I haven't got my uh, Santa hat. Actually, I can't find it. don't know where it is. Um, anyway, Elsa would have actually put it on. Um, first off, a couple of pickups. Um, Jubbles on the Chronosoft title. Um, as some of you may or may not be aware, this is uh, modern software for the ZX Spectrum being produced by Chronosoft. Um, this one's written by Jonathan Caldwell and features what looks like Sir Clive and uh, Sir Alan Sugar. So that should be a bit of fun. And Bubbles. What they've all got to do with each other, I have no idea, but we'll soon find out when we play it. I haven't played any of these, by the way. I haven't had any time for gaming recently, so... Um, nothing's been tested, so I can't tell you what any of the games are like. But here's another one by Jonathan Caldwell, but this isn't on... Um, Chronosoft... Um, blah, 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 blah. Isn't on the Chronosoft label. This one's on Fusion Retro Books label. And this was part of the Kickstarter for the... Um, crash annual which looks absolutely amazing although i haven't actually seen one in real life yet because mine's wrapped up under the tree my good wife um wrapped it up for me and popped it under the tree so i could open it on christmas day and act like a 13 year old again um monument micro again now I've harped on and on and on about my monument micro games look at my other videos to see me waxing lyrical about them and say how fantastic they are um they are fantastic and here's another one, Circuitry. This looks an amazing game. Can't wait to play this one. It look, I love the graphic graphics on this one. It's got a couple of screenshots on the back there. It makes it look absolutely amazing. These are top quality games. And it comes with all the usual extras. Coloured cassette, badges, collectible cards, CDs, booklets. All in there. And a gorgeous printed uh, inlay as well. Looking forward to playing that. Castle Capers. Another one by Monument Micro Games that I've got. This one looks like a really simplistic... graphic. Graphics-wise, it's very simplistic, but it looks like a really, really fun game to play. Can't wait to play that. Again, a lovely, colourful game. Um, I've been sent a couple of titles by um, Mad Cat Studios over in the States to review on RetroGamesCollector.com. One's called Creepy Brawlers, that's for the NES. That looks very, very good. And um, Mad Cat Studios produce modern software, new titles for, um, if I can get the thing open, for our old consoles. So they have got the, the gorgeous looking um, NES cartridge. Uh, booklet, leaflet thingy, all in a box, complete with a little bit of polystyrene as they came came with originally in their boxes, just to stop it from rattling around. Pop them back in there for now, just so that where everything is. Um, what else have we got? Coffee Crisis by Mad Cat Studios again. Um, this one's for the Mega Drive, obviously, uh, as you can see by the case, um, and again. Really beautifully produced cartridge and leaflet there. Looking forward to playing both of those. Hopefully over Christmas I'll actually get a bit of gaming done. Um, I've also had one major purchase, which was this beautiful Sharp Twin Famicom. Um, if you're unaware of what one of these is, um, it is a basically it's a Famicom and a Famicom disk system built into the same machine. So you've got your cartridge slot here, Famicom cartridges, you've got your disk system on the front here, except these little floppy disks, so we can find one to show you. So where the where these aren't exactly common in the UK, so a lot of you may not know what it is. Those are the little floppy disks that fit inside, that's obviously inside a case. Um, and the controllers are pretty much the same as Famicom controllers, just restyled slightly visually. 
Um, great, great, great system to be honest. Um, when you've got it in um, disc mode, which you do by flicking this switch here, it doesn't allow you to put a cartridge in, so it locks the cartridge slot. Um, and it, the, the really funny bit on it is uh, you pop a cartridge in and press the button and the cartridge literally leaps out of the console, it shoots it out. It's brilliant. Uh, a great, great bit of kit. Uh, I'd recommend them to anybody um, as a replacement for the disc system. I love the look of the disc system, don't get me wrong. Um, the, the Famicom, the Nintendo Famicom disc system is, is a lovely bit of kit and with the Famicom art sitting on top of it, you, there's not a better looking bit of kit, but I do. I like this for its UK rarity value. There's not many around, and it's a nice bit of kit to own. It's big, you know. It, does, it, it takes up a bit more desk space than a uh, or shelf space, shall I say, as, than a disc system. But um, you know, you've got it all in one there. It looks really nice, and it's uh, as I say, it's the rarity value really of it. It's uh, a nice thing to have. So you can act the hipster. What else have I got to show you? Um, I've had this. Uh, lovely uh, low profile keyboard in its original box for the spectrum now this one came to me and i was a bit surprised to be honest because i've seen i've had a low profile keyboard before keep oh, get the words out and i've had a low profile keyboard before but it didn't look like this one it was slightly smaller and on the underneath you actually use the zx spectrum uh, the bottom casing of the, of the zx spectrum um, sort of screwed into it there but overlapped the back slightly so you ended up with with the spectrum sticking out here and then there was a, a false sort of um, or a, a, a plastic bit that replaced the back of the spectrum that sat on top there um, but this one the case actually totally swallows the spectrum board in its entirety and you just put the spectrum board in it so i've never seen one like this before um comment below if um you've got any idea um what i'm talking about for one and if you have um, <laughs> um whether you've seen one of these before because i've only ever seen the other type before i've seen lots of the other type i've never seen this one before as you can see you, you know it's got the spectrum board sits inside this one in its entirety so it's a bit unusual. Um, it's in amazing condition. I mean, literally like brand new. I can't. Eat my rubbishy camera and the low light conditions I've got at the moment because the sun's going down rapidly, which is why I'm rushing through this video. So because the lighting in this room is terrible. As soon as the sun goes down, I've got no chance of making a video. Um, yeah, it's in amazing condition. Not yellowed at all, or nothing's rubbed off or anything. It's like brand new. And it comes in its original box as well, which is a bonus. Um, so I'm very pleased with that little pickup. What else have I got to show you, kids? Um, oh, oh yeah. Um, I've had my V drive come. And if you don't know what a V drive is, it's a SD SD solution, SD card solution that fits inside a um, ZX micro drive. Um, so if you want more details uh, I'm not going to it's just a bare board basically it sits inside a micro drive so that you know, I'll get it out and show you while I'm at it so there it is that sits inside the micro drive and uh, these are the connectors that let you chain the micro drives together and connect it to the spectrum um, and basically it allows you to use SD cards but Mm, keep your setup looking original with a, a micro drive and a, and a ZX Spectrum. So it's quite nice. Um, I haven't set it up yet, um, but Will Woodvine did review one, and I'll put the details down below for the review, which is on my site, um, retrogamescollector.com. Um, as I say, full details below. I'm um, now we're getting to the bit where, which is probably why most of you are here. Um, sorry for all the rabbiting on. Um, competition time. So Autovision, these guys, again details below, have given me this beauty. Now I can't do it justice on here. It's a 3D shadow box 
Oh, you can see Darth Vader on top of my on top of my Mac there, on top of my Mac SE <laughs> in the uh, reflection. Um, so it's a shadow box 3D artwork thingy. I don't know how best to explain it. It's just a 3D shadow box, I think they call it, um, of Castlevania. And this is up for grabs, folks, if you want to win it. All you have to do is follow AutoVision on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, uh, and retweet the tweet. So head on over to, the details are below, but head on over to twitter.com forward slash retro games call. That's R E T R O G A M E S C O L L. So it's twitter.com retro games call. And uh, I couldn't put Retro Games Collector, obviously, it wouldn't let me put anything that long, so I ended it at the double L. <laughs> so uh, head on over to that and um, retweet it if you can, um, and follow me and follow Artvision, and you'll be in with a chance of winning it. The draw is going to be um, the day after Christmas, Boxing Day, it'll be on the 26th, and I'll let everybody know via Twitter. Um, who exactly has won so uh, some, one of you lucky guys could be uh, having this sent to you uh, it, I mean it's top quality gorgeous frame really nice solid wood frame and as you can see all the different layers inside there uh, so it's got all the gr different graphics on different layers which it gives it a lovely sort of 3D view 3D effect shall I say um, there you have it it can be hung I personally quite liked having this just sat on my um, on a shelf as it is but you can hang it on a wall if you want to how gorgeous is that guys it's a beauty isn't it so glad to be uh, giving that away uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic Christmas and thank you for all the likes and all the subscriptions this year. Uh, much appreciated. I've hardly done any videos this year yet. My subscriptions have just been steadily rising. So thank you very much guys. You are amazing. Um, and I'll see you all in the new year. Hopefully with a lot more. I keep saying this. Hopefully with a lot more videos than I've been doing recently. So until then guys. Keep it retro.